In this video, we are going to discuss rising edge and falling edge instructions. These rising edge and falling edge instructions are input contact type instructions which will work when there is a change in input from off to on or on to off. Nothing but 0 to 1 or 1 to 0. For rising edge, the input must change from 0 to 1. If you see this timing diagram, whenever the input x1 change from 0 to 1, then output m0 will be turned on for a single pulse. That means output will be a single pulse irrespective of the input duration. See, the rising edge instruction will generate an output single pulse when the input change from 0 to 1 every time. See here, input change from 0 to 1, output is a single pulse irrespective of the input duration. In the first cycle, the input is a certain long time and in second cycle, input is very short. So it doesn't matter how much time the input is in on state. It is only the matter when there is a rising edge 0 to 1. This rising edge instruction is represented with up arrow. If you see, there is an arrow is here in the upward direction. Similarly, for falling edge, instruction is represented with down arrow. The falling edge is opposite to the rising edge. The output will be turned on for a single pulse when input is changed from 1 to 0 on to off. See here, when input is changed from 1 to 0, output is turned on for a single pulse. Okay, we will see this in our software. Okay, go to category B and B4. Minimize this, click here. Okay, click edit ladder and first insert the rising edge instruction. Click on this contact. Open the menu, drop down. You can see P and F. This P represents rising edge, F represents falling edge. Okay, so select P, click OK. Okay, go ahead and enter the input address. Say enter x24, click OK, and select one output. I will take lamp 1, y20, y20, click OK. First, we will run this simple program and we will see. Remember, the output duration is very short. It's a single small pulse. Okay. See, I will activate the input x24. I'll make it on. As this is the rising gauge, so I'm changing from off to on, 0 to 1. See, input is continuously in on state, but momentarily very small momentum only the output is on we can able to see the blue color indication here for a small time and again it will be gone we are unable to see the display here in the lamp side okay i will show it to you again i'm making it off uh, and now i'll take i'll, I'll turn on this x24 observe y20 okay now nothing displayed that means we are unable to see the pulse because it will be in milliseconds. Okay, so we will modify the logic slightly. Edit ladder. What we will do? I will latch it. I will latch the output so that we can see the output state. Select here, open branch. Enter Y20, click OK. I will also add a reset instruction or I will add a stop instruction so that we can unlatch it whenever we want. X20, I will use X20. Done. So convert it. Write to PLC. Now we can able to see the output status. See, x24 input is on, it changes from off to on state, so 0 to 1. So it rises a single pulse. It is already NC, that single pulse turns on the output y20, 
as we have the latch we are able to see the output status continuously previously also the output y20 is turned on but the time duration is in milliseconds so we are unable to see it visually you can unlatch it by pressing x20 or p push button one now input x24 in on state i will change the state from on to off click on it nothing happens because this is the rising edge it will only work when input changes from 0 to 1 see okay similarly we will see the falling edge click edit ladder take one input falling edge is with f represent with f enter one input x25 okay and uh, one output i will take y21 so i will latch it y21 again uh, for resetting purpose i will add one more push button we have to take nc content x22 or 21 click ok convert it write to plc see now if i give x24 rising gauge 0 to 1 output will be on if i turn on x25 from off to on state nothing happens because it is a falling edge it will only work from 1 to 0 when our input changes from 1 to 0 not 0 to 1 so x25 now is in on condition i will make it off that means i will change the state from 1 to 0 off 1 to 0 as this is a falling edge it will only activate the output when there is a change from 1 to 0 now it will activate the output y21 see y21 lamp is on as there is a latch it is continuously on we are able to see the light otherwise for small duration of milliseconds we are unable to see the output you can release the outputs using unlatching of push buttons so this is the concept of contact type rising edge instruction and contact type falling edge instruction i will meet you in the next session